Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean by any means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. Y'all know what this is, man. I don't care if you send 50 cents, a dollar, a hundred dollars, five thousand dollars. It is truly, truly, truly appreciated. All the help, all the donations, everybody will be showing love. I wanted to talk to y'all about something with his name not attached to everybody else, but it actually kind of proves my point on why I wanted to make this video. Shout out to my favorite fighter, man, my guy, the dude from Baltimore, man, Gervonta Tank Davis. And I go so hard for Tank because I just hate to see a man get talked about and get run in the mud that is actually talented, that's actually somebody that's giving us things that we want, that's actually somebody that's standing on business, actually somebody that I was supporting long before his name got buzzing the way that it was. Um, and I'm talking about before Vlad TV interviews, even when he was fat and all that. I'm talking about way before that. A lot of y'all don't even remember Tank fighting on Wednesdays and Fridays on ESPN and things like that, but I do. So um, I just wanted to say why I could prove that Tank Davis is officially the face of boxing. And I want to thank you to Devin Haney fans also because y'all have helped this. Actually, y'all probably been one of the most uh, motivating factors for this thing happening. So it's like, I keep telling y'all everything that y'all thought y'all was achieving, it achieved the opposite. And that's the unfortunate part for Devin and his father and his fans. Um, anybody that's listening to my voice, I want to know if you're being honest. And this is something that we can literally prove. So before you get in my comments and say that it's, this is not true, I can literally prove it to you that it is. Javante Davis is the only fighter in boxing that has been talked about every day, 365 days a year for the last two years. It's really been longer than that, but I'm going to just go off two years. For the last two years, all of 2023, all of 2022, and it's going to be all of 2024, but we just started. He has been talked about every day, all on every single YouTube platform, because even if one YouTube what's platform wasn't talking about him, another major YouTube platform was talking about him. He's the only fighter in boxing that has been named, talked about, a video on every single day for at least two years. And maybe you could say another fighter, maybe Devin Haney I would put in there um, because of all the controversy. But the problem is he don't do the numbers that Tank does. So I couldn't even have that conversation about that if I wanted to because there's no conversation to have. Javante Davis is officially the face of boxing because the only other person that y'all can say is the face of boxing, we don't talk about him every day. And nobody will get in here and sit in here and lie and say that we talk about Canelo every day. We don't. We have went weeks without talking about Canelo. I have been on different platforms. A lot of the major boxing platforms, they have went weeks without talking about Canelo. Do Canelo get talked about? As he should. Yep, yes, he does. Not nearly as much as Javante Davis does. And Javante Davis is the only one that does close to the numbers. And um, it just shows you how polarizing he is. When people talk about what he hasn't accomplished, what he has accomplished, this, that, and the third, all I know is that you can't get the man off your mind. All I know, if you're a Devin Haney fan, you can say whatever about Tank Davis, but you're saying it about Tank Davis is my point. You cannot talk boxing without talking about Javante Tank Davis. You know how many people I know, y'all, that casually watch boxing? But one name, that there's two names that they all know. Canelo and Gervonta Davis. It's amazing to me on my everyday life when I be just people be like, Dean, what you got a YouTube channel? I said, I talk about social injustice issues, boxing, um, anything that's there, near and dear to my heart, relationships and ever. They be like, boxing? Yeah, you uh, you know about Gervonta Davis? That's the one of the first people they ask me about. Of course, that's my favorite fighter. And it just goes to show you when you put your head down and you work, work hard, your talent will speak for you. Javante Davis is not a man of many words, but he's so talented that his talent speaks for him. You know you're looking at something different. Javante Davis is not the only knockout artist in boxing. Arthur Baturbiev is a knockout artist, but Arthur Baturbiev is not, um, he doesn't have the story that Javante Davis has, and he's not 
from America, Sabril Matias. He's a knockout artist, but he doesn't have the charisma and the swag over Javante Davis. All of these things play in a factor. It's why Noel, in a way, um, is, is creeping up in that space. But the only difference is with Noah Inouye is that he's in Japan. He fights in Japan. He don't really fight in America like that. That's the only thing stopping him from being one of those guys that we talk about majorly all the time, every day. But Javante Davis is the only fighter in boxing that we talk about every day. So don't argue with me. Argue with yourself on who's the face of boxing. Don't argue with me. Argue with yourself about what guys need to do to get a, a fight with Tank. See, the problem is all of y'all will admit that Tank is the face of boxing, that Tank is the money guy, but then you won't admit that people have to bend to his will. It does not make sense. You cannot have it one way. Y'all are so accepting of Canelo, people bending. If somebody tried to dictate something to Canelo, y'all will all say that fighter was ducking Canelo because he should know better. But when it comes to Javante Davis, y'all don't understand that. When the other two guys that are pound for pound on the list, will be considered faces of boxing. Noah Inouye, Canelo Alvarez, ask them who their favorite fighter is. So you got to take in consideration everything when you're talking about this sport. And the fact that y'all have to talk about Javante Davis every single day proves the point on why he's severely the A-side. He's not even in a regular A-side position. He's not even in a regular A-side position. Keith Thurman's the A-side to Tim, to Tim Zhu, but it's much more, it's negotiated much more. With Javante Davis, it ain't too much you can negotiate, man. He's going to be your biggest payday. He's going to be the most views you got. You're going to get the most credit for beating him. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to accept. Will this be your biggest payday? Yes. Will you get the most views you have ever gotten on you? Yes. Will you get the most credit for beating him more than any other fighter in boxing? Yes. Then you need to sign this contract. Then you need to stop telling people what you will and won't do. You need to stop all this negotiating like Al Heyman and Leonard Ellerby and these people are just going to come to a boxer with just a BS deal that they don't get nothing out of. They're not even going to do that. Because if Tank really want to fight, they're going to give the other fighters somewhat of an incentive to do it, like giving them the biggest payday they have ever got. That is the incentive that you get when you fight Javante Davis. It shouldn't be nothing else to talk about. What are we negotiating? If you're going to get probably three times more than you have ever gotten with any other fighter, then why, why are you making negotiations and all of these things so hard for me? When, you, when you're going to benefit way more than I'm going to benefit because I'm going to do numbers regardless of who I fight. So as much as y'all try to discredit this man, even when y'all discredit him, you're helping him. And Devin Haney fans don't see that. Shakur Stevenson fans don't see that. Bud Crawford fans don't see that. A bunch of people fans, bases, Canelo fans don't see that. A bunch of fan bases don't quite understand that part of it. You're making them even a bigger star. Javante Davis posts something on Twitter. It is, it, listen, man, you would think the FBI and police was on it. It's people that can tell you what Javante Davis said on Twitter three years ago. But he got there by earning it. He got there by putting the work in. He, he made people act like Javante Davis became this big star because of Floyd Mayweather. My question to all of y'all is Floyd has other boxers under them. Why aren't they Javante Davis? If that was the case, everybody that's under Floyd Mayweather should be the face of boxing or close to it, but they're not. What's his name? Richardson Hitchens? Hitchinson? He's with um, the money team. He's not the one. He's not even close to being that popular. He's a known fighter. He's a good fighter. He's somebody that people talk about, but he's not the face of boxing. He's not even close to that. But he's under Floyd Mayweather's. So just that has been plenty of fighters that have been under Floyd Mayweather's. None of them have became Javante Davis. Not even close to it. So that lets you know it's not just off of Floyd back. Same thing you could say about Ryan Garcia with Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, Ryan, Oscar De La Hoya has had plenty of fighters. None of them became Ryan Garcia. You got to give people credit where credit is due. You may not like that people want to talk about this person. You may not like 
that people want to see this person. You may not like that they get the attention and accolades that you that they get. Like I hear a certain YouTube channel say that Javante Davis is the only person that they get credit for not fighting nobody. That just sounds like hating to me. If you want, if you want me to, to be all the way honest with you, it just sounds like hating. Y'all gotta get that hate up on your out your heart, man, and live in reality. You can't even dispute what I'm saying. You can't say Jerante Davis is not talked about every day. He's talked about for a reason because he is everything that we try to tell y'all he is. He has nothing else to prove. He's already at the apex of boxing. His legacy is not done yet. He has not retired. You don't know what that man is going to do three, four, five years from now. Nobody knew four years ago that Lomachenko was going to fight Devin Haney. We hoped it. We wish we could see it. We didn't know that that was going to happen. Nobody knew four years ago that Jermell Charlo was actually going to fight Canelo. If I would have told you four years ago that Jermell Charlo was going to fight Canelo, I would have been like, hey, man, that ain't never happening. But it did. So y'all know what this is, man. Dean, by any means shout out to javante tank davis man excited to see your next few fights coming up my dog hope everything is well man uh and like i said man just continue to keep putting on for the sport of boxing man because um whether people like it or don't like it you canelo and, and a few other people are the sole thing that's upholding the sport right now and um i just want to say um you know i support that and i understand that because it's well deserved man it's well deserved bro so y'all know what this is. Ding. Bye. Any means. And I holler.